One of my favorite things to do whenever we go traveling is to rent a car and just drive. Put on some good music and drive and just see beautiful scenery. Pull off wherever you want because you can. And that is one of the best things that you can do here when you come to Oahu. There's so many amazing scenic drives. There's so many beautiful lookouts. We wanted to cover our favorite, our top five scenic drives and lookouts here on Oahu. Now we know that you know that we love hiking and hiking gets you some of the best views on the island. But for those of you that aren't able to hike or those of you who just like to drive places, you can equally get some amazing views just by driving up to these lookouts. Number five. The H3 Tunnel Drive is what we call it. H3 stands for Highway 3. There are a lot of different highways here on Oahu, but H3 is one of the most amazing because it feels like you're floating in a forest, honestly. Yeah, as you kind of go up and into the ridge and then into the tunnel and then the tunnel ends and just whew, Hawaii, ocean, rivers, amazing views. It's an unforgettable driving experience and it's not that far from Waikiki or Honolulu either. The H3 takes you from downtown Waikiki or downtown Honolulu all the way across the island to Kaneohe or Kailua. So it's great if you want to go visit that side of the island. It is truly a wonderful and beautiful drive. You can't miss it. Number four, Tantalus Drive. Tantalus Drive is this beautiful windy road that leads you to Pu'ua Laka'a State Park Lookout. You take your car up a steep windy road that's tree covered, filled with vines. It almost feels like you're in a jungle. And within 15 minutes of leaving downtown, you are high up overlooking the entirety of Honolulu. You have a sweeping view of Waikiki. You have a sweeping view of Diamond Head. Once you start on this road, it honestly feels like you're going up the wrong road or into somebody's house or neighborhood or something like that. Just keep following the signs, you'll get up to the top, and then there's just this amazing lookout. You can pack a picnic, enjoy some lunch out there, you can watch the sunset. It's wonderful. Number three, Highway 72 all the way to Sandy Beach, or as Lisa calls it, Kalaniane Ole Highway. She's not the only one that calls it that. I just can't pronounce it. <laughs> now Highway 72 is a pretty long highway. There's a lot of it to really take in. But the specific part that we're talking about now is this area in between Hawaii Kai and Sandy Beach. There's lookouts on the left, lookouts on the right, Cocoa Head. Oh, it's so great. There's also this Halona blowhole, which is really cool. You go there and about every 30 seconds or so, this big eruption of water. <laughs> will explode up. It's quite a sight to see. The drive here is usually pretty slow, as in it's passing Hanama Bay, which is this really famous, really popular tourist destination. Past these couple of beaches, all these other things, so don't expect to take this drive fast, and honestly, you'd be missing out on a lot if you did. Take this slow, just take in the views, drive carefully, because this is a very windy road with a lot of cars going both directions, and a lot of people who have never been here before. It's beautiful. What else can I say? and stop often because as Josh said, there's tons of places to pull over. And there are a couple of lookouts that we specifically wanted to point out. The Halona Blowhole Lookout, as well as the Lanai Lookout. The rock formations are crazy there. It's like these layers of pancakes just on top of each other. And you can't really see this type of formation anywhere else on the island. And honestly, there's only a couple places in the world where you can see this. Take your time and enjoy. If you do a little bit of exploration, you'll also find a secret beach. Number two, the Polly Lookout. The Polly Lookout is a very famous lookout off of the Polly Highway, also known as Highway 61. Similar to H3, this is a beautiful, beautiful highway. You're driving through mountains, you're driving through lush greenery, and it takes you from downtown Honolulu all the way to Kailua or Kaneohe. You'll see as you're driving along the Polly on the right hand side a pull off for the Polly Lookout. Definitely, definitely stop here because you'll get sweeping views of the other side of the island. Blue, blue waters and green, green mountains. 
There are even some areas that you can stop off and hike. For those of you that live in Hawaii, you can park here for free, but those of you that are visiting, you just have to pay a small fee to park there. You're gonna get the same or maybe better view of someone who went on a crazy four hour jungle expedition hike as if you just drove 20 minutes and stopped at any of these lookouts. Even though you didn't have to put in this gargantuan effort to climb all the way to the top of one of these crazy slippery ridge hikes where you fall down all the time. Uh, my flops broke. So is my spirit. Not that I still am upset about this at all. All you gotta do is drive your car there. Park, walk out, bam. Beautiful view. And that leaves us with just number one. The greatest, the best, Makapu'u Lookout. Whee! This area is a continuation of the Highway 72 route that we were talking about before, all the way to Sandy Beach. This is kind of the rest of it. You keep going on Highway 72 North until you reach the Makapu'u Lighthouse, which is an amazing trail. And then just past that is gonna be this pull off for this lookout. This Highway 72 keeps going north and northwest all the way to Waimanalo, which is this amazing park, beach. We've talked a lot about this, it's great. Specifically this drive from the end of Sandy Beach all the way to Waimanalo, mostly including this Makapu'u lookout, is just epic. I don't know what else to say about this that hasn't already been said about the other ones, but it's a once in a lifetime drive. What makes the Makapu'u lookout so special is you can see so many parts of the island. You see Rabbit Island, you see the mountains, you see the ocean, you see the Makapu'u lighthouse. It almost feels like you're in a completely, completely different part of the island, a completely different part of the country, which you are. This part of Highway 72 and this specific lookout is one of my favorite parts on the island. You don't even have to hike the trailhead for this view. All viewable from just one lookout that you can just pull your car off to the side, get out, and it's right there for you. And if you time your visit during the winter months, you might even be able to spot some whales. Pretty magical. One more thing, one special mention. I feel like I need to say this more epically. Hold on. Special mention! That was pretty cool, right? <laughs> this drive that we recently took all the way out to Kaena Point in the Northwest was incredible. This drive for me was one of the best drives that I've ever taken in my entire life. If you're looking for one more place to go, I would highly recommend you make your way out to the west side, check out Kaena Point, and take this highway all the way out there. It's beautiful. So there it is, the top five most scenic drives in Oahu. This is one of our favorite things to do, is just kind of drive around the island, stop at every single lookout that we can, and not be in too much of a hurry. So if you're coming here, you got a couple of hours, go to at least a couple of these. You won't regret it. We know there are tons more here on the island. Special mention, um, driving out to the North Shore. Beautiful drive, country roads, tall grass, red dirt, blue ocean, all of that so great. Mm -hmm. We know there are tons. If you feel like we forgot any, let us know and we will add that to the list. Yeah, these are just our favorite, but I'm pretty sure they're the best. See you in the next one. Pretty cool, huh? <gasps> Bam! <laughs> like the whole time we've been here. What's up? <laughs> it's Josh. I'm gonna get a little closer. <laughs> Just cut me right out of the shop. That's what you that's what you want to do. That's, that's it. That is what the viewers want, I think. Mm -hmm. Almost all the time. Number one. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta quiet that down a little bit. I feel like I'm screaming. Okay. Number one! <laughs> okay, I feel like I'm introing WrestleMania. Oh yeah! The Macho Man Randy <laughs> Macho Man Randy Savage is gonna get you the elbow drop. Okay, here we go. Off the top of Ropa. Lisa and Josh's vlogs, part wrestling promo, <laughs> part informational Hawaii video. Oh boy, lo siento. That's it, folks. Special mention. Another one? No, there's not another one. I just wanted to yell again. <laughs> What do you got in hell?
Bella. So many things to say.